When this started, I thought grandma was invincible. Grandma thought a Euro trip adventure was a great idea. And mum thought it would all make a wonderful story when we returned safely home. You have very bad pneumonia. You should not continue your journey, okay? This is not that story. My mother called me up and said, I need to talk to you. I have something I want to say. Uh, I'm not happy with life anymore. Uh, it's painful. Even my eyesight seems to be affected. There's one thing that I'm absolutely definite about. I do not want to go into a home. Dear member, I confirm the date of 19th December 2019 for your assisted voluntary death, AVD. Why Switzerland? Well, it's the only option because it's illegal in this country. Somehow or other, I've got to get Sam to accept this. So I don't think I'm ready to have that conversation yet. I certainly prefer my daughter and my granddaughter to be with me. I am blessed. Amazing. I have two good filmmakers in my family. I feel almost a promise to use it. She wants her death to have meaning, and that's why she wants us to make a film about it. I can see from your face that feels hard for you too. I am making a plea for end of life to be available to everyone who wants it to be able to make that choice. People keep saying to us, but she has so much life left in her. She's so well and full of joy. And Grandma's reply is, shouldn't I have the choice to be remembered that way? It's rational suicide and this is extremely controversial so you guys are going to find I think you've got as many opponents in the church as you have within the right to die movement. I'm no shrinking violet. <laughs> it all sounds so professional and so rational and so easy and so perfect. I couldn't think of a better way to die.